guys, I'm Meredith and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're hanging out with me today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all my tips and tricks on how to get any foundation to be luminous. I know we all want that like glow from within. We want everything to just look glowy, lively. We want to look dewy and fresh. That's like such a good look right now. And I'm going to show you how to get that look out of any foundation that you have. So whether you have a already glowy foundation or whether you have a matte foundation whatever you got girl i'm gonna show you how to get that foundation to look glowy and dewy but not sparkly you know that like sparkly glow we don't want it we want that glow from within we want everything to just look dewy and fresh and last us all day long so if you want to know how to get glowy dewy amazing foundation and make your skin glow from within then let's just keep on watching and i'll show you all my tips and tricks so let's ignore my wet hair right out of the shower but we're gonna do some makeup so like I said earlier, I'm showing you guys how I get a luminous foundation look. So whether you have maybe a matte foundation, which you want to add like that kind of natural glow that comes from underneath without adding a ton of highlighter on top, I'm going to show you guys how to make pretty much any foundation look luminous. Using my NARS um, foundation today, this is their natural radiant long wear foundation. Um, it does say natural radiant, but it really isn't that radiant. It, I find it to be very matte, um, especially on my skin. So I'm going to use this one to show you guys how I make it luminous. I love this foundation. It looks so pretty on, um, but I do like just that glow from underneath. So I'm going to show you guys kind of some tips and tricks on how I do that. First off, I'll prep my skin first with some luminous setting spray. Um, just to kind of get the party started, I want my skin to be hydrated really, really well. Um, that's going to give you a really good glow anyways. So I've already prepped my skin with all of my skincare right out of the shower. First thing this morning, done my skincare. And then I love this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I think it works so well. Um, so I'm just going to mist that on my face. Just kind of get everywhere. I love that this is such a fine mist and just makes your skin look so glowy and healthy. Next trick that I love to do is I get my favorite primer, which this is just one primer that I've been using a ton lately. That I just love. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It's an instant complexion refresh is what they call it. Um, and it just kind of helps even my skin tone out and helps my skin to look kind of fresh under makeup. It's not like a luminous primer, but we can make it a luminous primer by adding some highlight this is so dirty. <laughs> I use this thing all the time and it gets in the bottom of my makeup bag and then it's so dirty. But this is one of my favorite highlighters. This is by Stila, obviously. This is in the color Kitten and it's kind of like a really soft velvety texture. You can kind of see how it makes that motion on there, but it's so pretty and just has a great um, fine milled highlight look. Um, it's not super chunky. It doesn't have specks of glitter. It's just super, I don't know if it'll focus, um, super fine milled. And so that's one of my favorite ones to use. If you get it too chunky, it can um, add like specks of glitter. And I kind of just want that overall glow, if that makes sense. So actually what I'm going to do is I just have some clean tweezers and I usually just use the top part to scrape some off. So I'll kind of show you guys. So I'll take like a pump or so of my primer and then I'm trying to do this all with one hand and then I just take it and I just scrape some off. So just a little chunk will do and then I'll just take it and add it in and then I just kind of mix it up. I mix that up and I just rub it on. Now you're probably saying this is so extreme, Meredith, so much glitter, so much highlight, but I promise you it looks so good once you put your foundation on. So this is after, you can tell this is some serious glow that I've just added to my skin. 
Now in the summertime, I'll do this and then I'll just put like a tinted moisturizer on top. Like this one's my favorite. I just happen to have it with me, my Nude Sticks um, tinted moisturizer. I wear the color Nude 2, by the way. And it is so wonderful. Now, if that's enough glow for you, good. If it's not, you're part of my gang because I like things to look very highlighted underneath my makeup because I really like that super luminous look. So I have this by Nude Sticks. This is one of their nude face, all over face sticks in Hey Honey. And it is a, just a highlighting stick. Let me show you what it looks like. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I, I'm obsessed with this thing. I use it all summer long. I use it on my eyes. I use it on my cheeks. I use it on my body, like on my decollete. I use it everywhere. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take it on my cheeks like so. I'll take it on the middle of my forehead, chin, just on all the places I normally would highlight. And then I just kind of, we'll just kind of start to rub that in. I want my skin to look as glowy as possible, but you can tell this doesn't look glittery. It just looks like a high glow. So I just want things to look very luminous. Because the main thing with this kind of stuff is it's all prep work. You see people that have just phenomenal makeup and just look so seamless and looks so glowy and natural. Um, and you think, gosh, how'd they do that? Well, let me tell you, it's all prep work. Um, it's all in prepping your skin, taking care of your skin and using good products before you even put on foundation. Um, and that's what's gonna set you up for success when it comes to luminous foundation. So now you can tell my skin is looking very highlighted, but that's exactly where we want to be. Now, if that's enough highlight for you, good. But if you're like me, you want more, which obviously I want more glow, obviously. So at this point, I'm actually gonna add the highlight into my foundation. Now, you can do any of these steps or all of these steps um, to help achieve a glowy foundation look. Um, I'm just showing you all of them today, but you can just like put a little highlight. If you have a liquid highlight, you can add that into your foundation. I just don't feel like many people just happen to have liquid highlight on hand. Um, liquid highlight is not something that I love to use all the time. I love powder, it's just my preference. So if you're like me and that's something you enjoy using, um, then you can just add powdered into your foundation and it seriously, it won't mess up anything. So I'm going to add some foundation to the back of my hand, scrape some highlight off and just add it into my foundation, mix it up and apply. I just kind of like to separate it on my face like this because it does dry pretty quick, this foundation. So I like to kind of lay it out so that I can quickly bounce it into my skin and you'll instantly this is a pretty high coverage foundation for sure. It's a lot different than what I normally wear, but you, you can just tell. You see how glowy that is? Oh, girl, that's what we want. You just, I, we just love a good glow. I always say, if you're not glowing, what are you doing? You know, like I want my skin to just gleam, gleam when I'm wearing foundation. I mean, look how radiant. Look how radiant my skin looks. This is with foundation on and look, I mean, just look how radiant everything looks. But it doesn't have like a sparkly glow. It just has that like natural, radiant, lively look. And I haven't even put on powder or anything, um, but this foundation dries pretty good on my skin, so I don't normally wear a ton. But just look how glowy my skin looks just from underneath. There's no powdered highlight or anything. It's just that pure under skin glow that we love. I'm gonna add some concealer because these dark circles these days, ladies, is just out of control. Now I'm using my Tarte one today, but in my last video, I showed you guys my favorite drugstore dupe for my Tarte foundation, which I love. So go check that video out if you haven't. I'm just gonna wear my Tarte one today because it's what's in front of me. So I usually just wear whatever's in front of me on my desk. Okay, so I added some concealer because these bags were really bothering me under my eyes. What is sleep these days? I don't know. But 
I just wanted to show y'all, golly, just how beautiful that looks. I haven't added any more highlight and I haven't done any bronzer or anything, but you can just tell how lively that makes my skin look from that deep glow within. So one last touch of something I would do, and I'll do this after I do um, bronzer and blush and everything, but I'll add more of my luminous setting spray right on top and just bathe my skin in it and it just kind of locks everything in and kind of just enhances that natural luminous look that we have achieved today so let me go finish the rest of my makeup and i'll be back so you can see the final result Alrighty, i have finished the rest of my makeup for today and i mean let's just talk about this glow i added just a tiny bit of highlighter just where i would normally apply it but you can just tell even here, I mean, there's just so, it's so luminous. My forehead, everything is just glowing. It makes you look so much more alive. You look so glowy, dewy. I mean, it just has all the things and it sets so well. It does not affect um, how my foundation sits on my skin and it doesn't affect, it doesn't get slippy, slidey. It just sets so beautifully and just looks so radiant. I hope this helped you guys out because these are some serious tips and tricks that I've learned over the years where I can really customize one foundation. If someone wants something matte, matte foundation. If you want it luminous, let's throw some highlighter in that primer. Let's throw some in the foundation itself and really glow it up. So I hope this is helpful. The last thing I'm going to do, like I talked about, I'm going to spray this on my face as like the final luminous bust. Once that soaks in, it's just going to look so glowy, luminous, everything just looks so lively. I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this was helpful to you. If you have any other questions about foundations um, or if you have a project you're like, can I add this, can I not, what should I do here? Leave it in the comments. I always respond to comments and I will get back to you all as soon as possible. So I just love having you guys here hanging out with me. As always, everything I use today is in the description box below. So you can go purchase all of those goodies and more. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Alrighty, I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week.